respect failure as much as you respect success in fact fear people who have not failed they are too they are too innocent to counsel you there is a requisite level of failure you must carry as a badge to balance your understanding in counseling people believe me anybody who comes to you with 100 over 100 is still a child in the school of success there, there is a requisite scar that gives you a balanced perspective have you failed enough to be able to talk to me don't tell me all the stories i just prayed and the person was healed i just spoke and they gave me an auditorium you are not the person to counsel me i respect you carry your results until you learn the other side of life my goodness there are people that have failed enough and they can talk to you when they talk to you they utter from their pain their pain has been turned to wisdom every sentence is a life lesson a woman who tells you i have been barren for 10 years now god gave me three sets of twins forget the twins and learn wisdom don't just respect crowns respect scars the wise respect both scars and crowns can i encourage someone your failure is still an asset don't throw it archive it it will be one of the qualifiers for your speaking to people tomorrow apostle i have cried i have failed in life i know what it means to be an irresponsible father don't throw that experience archive it one day you will use from that wisdom and mentor an arrogant young man who thinks life is so easy most times when we are starting out in life because of the leverage of prayer the prophetic or generally life just playing games with you you can believe life is so easy and you are wondering so why are people crying like this i just got married and three months it's been so rosy in fact my wife is the best thing that has happened to me and you go online and embarrass yourself and someone who has been married for 15 years he said may god help you <laughs> after two years you just turn and start saying life is unpredictable all this this unwise things that people do do not just respect those who have succeeded alone respect those who have failed not everybody fails respect those who have failed failure is an asset when you can turn it to power paul said let no man trouble me it is not only anointing that i have there are scars gentlemen don't just look for those who live in mansions. Go and look for mama and let her teach you the secret of happiness in a hut. There is something you need to learn because the money you think will come from the mansion, you will be surprised. You don't know the depression and the drugs that surround those mansions. Sometimes you need to learn from both a king, but you need to learn from the slave that is in his palace. There is something the slave can tell you that even the king does not know. The slave is the one who cleans the palace. He knows what he has seen there. Why will the Lord speak to a young virgin through an angel and says, Mary, you are highly favored. And the next thing that follows that woman is pain, controversy. There was nothing in the life of Mary that I have seen that looked like favor. An angel comes from heaven and says, you are highly favored. I would expect the king to call and say, I had a dream. There is free land for you. As soon as Jesus is born, you become tax free. That sounds to me like favor. So God calls car favor. He calls controversy favor. He calls pain favor. Why would you say a woman is high? Ah, God is speaking to someone. Don't listen. You may cry. But don't be embarrassed about your failures again there is something about the speaking of god ba, that until you are at your lowest moment there is something about the voice of god you cannot hear there is there is a pain requirement to hear certain things about god tonight's message is very deep for some of you you really will not understand it this night you are too innocent you have been shielded by the sacrifices of others you may not really understand this there is a pain requirement that brings out the clarity and the purity of the voice of God. There is a way a man of God fails and fails and fails in ministry that he goes back and he says, Lord, teach me. When he writes a book about the leadership of the spirit, read it. That pain has purified any flesh and the need to make a name. It's gone. 
that is the reason why when people go through things and they come out of it they usually come out with an anointing barren for 16 years laughed at by people as she gets triplets it's not only children she got the day she speaks over you she will terminate barrenness in a moment because every time she sees you like the high priest she's touched with the feelings of your infirmity let me tell you the truth you see many of you see today that i pray for people and i'm just speaking and you see the power of god it's not only prayer and anointing no there is a pain requirement that has reached down to the bowels of power and has drawn genuine, authentic spiritual power.